Hello everyone. In the last video, we have seen how to configure check style for a Maven project. And we have run a uh, analysis and generated HTML report and this is the report. So in this video, I'll take some time uh, to I understand what kind of errors we have and how to fix them. And I'll try to nullify or make zero errors for this project. So that in the next video, we'll see how to use them in your bits so now if you go through the roles there are these are the categories that has been uh, we have so we understand unused imports easily we can remove and the naming conventions if you see what it is does is like method member names or method names we wanted to define in a certain type or in certain format so that's why we have defined these regular expressions so where this regular expressions is there is if you go to your uh, check style rules xml which has been applied so member okay. so member name method name okay so these are applied with few uh, properties Let's see name format it applies in this format okay so method name should be in this format only so if anything is not uh, mapping then it will uh, throw in a error see you have to understand regular expressions in a lighter note like uh, this is the first letter should be uh, small letter and then you can have either underscore or small letter or capital letter or numbers also so that's the meaning of that okay the same thing goes here and if you see here like if the package names uh, the format that we have given here is uh, it should have only the small letter first and then uh, dot you should have uh, the small letters only okay so but for our project somehow we have a capital uh, package name so that's why it is having 38 violations instead of i update the project i update my check style uh, rule itself okay so let's say package now the package format is this so what i do is i'll just uh, add uh, a hyphen z okay so a hyphen z a hyphen z so that means it should allow me uh, to have from uh, either small letters or capital letters okay so i'll run this analysis once and see whether those has been fixed or not okay once you make that change create that profile uh, you go to each class and format it with new changes Control shift f save Control shift f save Control shift f save okay so do it for all the classes now we made uh, this indentation changes white space changes for all classes now i'm going to run uh, and see what is the result of the analysis so with this we should get the less number of uh, issues now so you, as you see here only 31 errors has been reported so one from 100 more than 100 it has been reduced to uh, 31 and if you see 31 out of them 17 are uh, unused imports okay so fine how to remove them so go to each class and then do control shift o okay so wherever the unused classes has been defined uh, control shift o and then Control shift O Control shift O so We'll do this for all classes now all files has been uh, removed with unused uh, Imports so now I'm going to run the analysis one more time. So it should reduce that uh, other 17 failed 17 errors. Okay, so now we're down with 14 and we'll see what this 14 does 
the first one is method names so method names are not following uh, this format and member names uh, three things are not formatting like a redundant modifier high utility class constructor so these are the uh, errors that we are having right now so we'll take this method names and see which classes that we have so this is naming right yeah naming member name in nationality con controller so control shift r nationality controller and then where is this yeah so nationality service is having capital letters so how can we fix it so refactor rename so it should be always small okay so that is one class and then member name there is quality controller okay control shift r yeah. quality controller uh, okay so here also we have should have small okay okay now uh, where is the other one mm -hmm. so table controller it's a method name okay so get all data control shift so you should do it with the refactor okay refactor rename and it should be small g and refactor rename small g okay so these uh, two changes that we have done and so another naming in the table dao control shift r table dao okay so uh, refactor rename small g okay now modifier naming member name nationality service uh, national table national table okay so this is the member name and table service okay so these are like i uh, just modifying it may take some time right so just uh, bear with me refactor rename get refactor rename okay so all uh, we are doing here is uh, following certain like people created with the capital names so it should not happen so right click maven update project uh, for the update so it does like cleaning up of all things now when i run this uh, analysis one more time now i'm gonna ask run configurations so now we we should see uh, this kind of like naming convention should not be there okay so there are only six now uh, we'll see now we are left with these two issues uh, the redundant modifier high utility class constructor and if you are not having any in idea on what it is then uh, you just click on this redundant modifier it will give us the information what it is about okay so for example the java uh, language specification strongly discourages the use of public and abstract for method declarations in interfaces definitions as master of style okay that is the uh, uh, rule that we have we are about to follow so how it is happened where it is happened let's say if you go to select option dao and you see these are the methods that we have here and using public and abstract is not necessary for this so that's why we have so what we can do is we can remove public and format it control shift f 
and then uh, close okay you have to do it for all these uh, modifier issues control shift control shift r f and remove public control shift f and then view dao it's also modifier control shift r view dao and we need to remove public control shift f so now these changes has been done and now there is another one so hide utility class constructor let me open this and it's like uh, for the kind of utility classes uh, having a static methods are fine but it should not have public constructor that's what this guy's point is okay so which utility meant, uh, class that they are talking about here is example spring boot application okay so this spring boot application is the base uh, class which i don't want to change uh, this constructor to protected okay so uh, whatever the reason so i don't want to do the change which is sub suggested by check style so what i can do in this kind of cases is if i left if i leave it like that you will have an error okay so that should not be good that is not good so what you have to do is you have to provide a uh, suppression for this okay so what kind of uh, issue it is what kind of rule it is like hide utility class constructor so if you want to suppress what you need to do is you need to define a separate xml class uh, something like cs underscore suppressions dot xml here you can add uh, all the suppressions will be under suppress suppressions tag so with suppress so which checks which is hide utility class and then which file you want to ignore that you have to define there okay which is the file here dot star okay and application okay and then it should be set brackets okay so this is the regular expression format so you should be aware of it now at the end you can have another stars right so now you have defined this suppressions okay so one thing that you have to remember is whatever the suppressions uh, xml that you define that xml has to be added in the module suppression filter okay in the check styles underscore rules dot xml suppression under uh, suppression filter is a module name property name equals to file value equals to the file name okay so when you say option equals to true you don't need to give this but when optional is false must and should this file has to be there or else you are uh, you will get an error at the uh, starting itself now i think we have removed all uh, issues that it is being reported and now so run as run configurations and then clean site so which gives me uh, zero issues when we say zero issues then uh, our code is clean now okay fine so now there are 39 files and there are zero errors okay zero errors uh, this is the goal of this video so to make this all the errors are zero okay in the next video we will see how to configure this to your uh, build pipeline so that any extra errors will cause an error failures in the build